Hi, I'm Shea Kostabi, and I'm here today with Jeremy Ronick. And we're here to talk about our new product, the Resist 360 resistance bands, and how easy, effective, and fun it is to work out with these guys. Being a professional athlete for 20 years in hockey, one thing that we I found to do is working out became very so important to being the top athlete you can be. Uh, resistance training in hockey was really important, and resistance training in any kind of sport okay. is important. When you want to get the best results for your body, you got to put your muscles through a tougher workout. When mm -hmm. you have resist bands that allow you to be in good form, that allow your muscles to work harder than they probably normally would work right. without having that that extra workload, right. uh, I find that your body really adapts. Uh, you'll see a change in your muscle mm -hmm. mass, you'll see a change in your ab routine, and you'll see a change in the way that you feel every day just by being uh, being healthy. Resistance bands are really important, and you know what, when they're comfortable, you're more likely to use them. Just wrap them around your thighs, right here. So you attach the Velcro on the outside. And you want to have the bands above your legs because really, the closer this is to your core, the more you're going to engage your lower abdominal muscles, your glutes, protect your back, keep your body in alignment. It's more effective, larger muscle groups, right? Yeah, it's not your everyday average look. But no. Then again, who wants to be everyday average? We don't want to be. We want to have the top results and we want to do it in less time. So you want to get down kind of into a low athletic stance or a semi-squat, right? Knees stacked over the ankles and we're going to shuffle this way first. Boom, 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 right? So you're keeping tension on the bands. Glutes, quads are engaged. Perfect. Right. And you can even do it a lot slower and get a little bit more range, get a little bit more work yes. out with those legs, and you get a little deeper that is going to make sure that your glutes are going to be firing, your Whew. abs are going to be firing, and they're working against that resistance. So just by doing it, the resistance is adding twice, three times the resistance and workload than you would usually. So oh just, man, I feel it already. Just 30 seconds. <laughs> I know. So we're going to take it up a notch here and do something a little more fun. We're going to do some lateral hops. So we'll start going to the left here, get down in that low athletic stance. We're going to push off, jump to the left, and hold. And you want to stick it. Hold. Hold. Right? So we're working on stability. We're working on alignment. We're staying low. This is one of those foundation agility moves, right? So we're learning how to keep this low so that when we're out on the field or playing games or whatever, it's more you're gonna stay low, it's better. Whoo! Okay, your thighs engage, your glutes engage, and your abs, abs engage, all because you have this resistance that is trying to keep everything in, mm -hmm. and you're working to push stuff out. Right. Uh, I, I, you definitely feel that you're getting a, more of a workout, and it doesn't even seem like we're doing much. No, it's not uncomfortable, it's just challenging. Right. right. So we're doing a plyo explosive power move here. Let's set this up. You want to get into a squat, feet like just a little wider than your hips distance. And we're going to get all the way down and hold. And then we're going to jump into a lunge, left foot forward, go. And then we're going to switch, right, go. Lunge, up, again. Let's try it again. Down, left, right, center, up. One more time, get down. You got this, Jeremy, let's go. Down, left, right, center. Whoo, yes. So not a lot of height on that, but you're building that foundation, right? You're like building up that power system chain. Three times. Yeah. Three times. My quads are burning. Okay, so we got a little speed exercise for you here that actually doubles as a core exercise. This is a good one too. So Jeremy's gonna demonstrate for me. He's gonna get down into a mountain climber position and he's gonna pull one knee up to his chest and hold. So he's gonna build up this tension here. If you build up strength in the muscle and switch, he's driving through the heels in the back. Good, and switch. So there's two ways you can do this. You can keep the toe off the ground or you can tap the toe. Switch, awesome, perfect. And this, again, a lot of core work and this is great exercise to increase speed. Let's do a one, two, three, hold. Let's go, one, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, ah, uh, yes. Two more. <laughs> I wore them out, I love that. So you see what I mean? You got 30 seconds. Core, glutes, thighs, right? And Hip flexors, heavy. extensors, yes. And you're breathing heavy. Cardio. Cardio. Everything all in one. Quick, easy, effective. When we take these bands off, we are gonna feel faster, stronger, lighter. Okay, so we hope you learned a little something about resistance training, and we both believe that we have the best resistance trainer out there, the Resistance 360 band. 
whether you want a hard workout, easy workout, whether you're around the house, a young athlete, or an aspiring college athlete. I think resistance training is one of the best things you can do for great workouts. Yep, that's right. And the Resistor 60 bands are easy, effective, they're going to cut your workout time in half, they're going to look great, feel better, less time. You can get better results. That's right. You want the best results you can have? Go for a run. Go for a run. See ya.